Hi internet people, it's me, the Welcome back. I am on a streak of doing videos, so yay. So so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about straightening my hair. Actually, I'm going to be straightening my hair. It's the 1st of January. Happy New Year, everyone. Yay! I hope your holidays were awesome. Hopefully this year is better than the last. It's a very low bar. 2021, you can do it. It's every one to three times a year, I cut my hair. And when I cut my hair, I straighten my hair because I don't do curly cuts anymore. I have learned that lesson the hard way. Jive right into it. So some things you'll need to be straightening your hair. Brush. I use a brush with holes in the back because every other brush with like uh, that's attached to the base of the brush has like a glue attachment. And my hair will rip it out. I have two fine tooth combs. This is for when my hair is mostly straightened. It's mostly to get that like good smooth, you know. Just... I used just to chase my my flat iron um, when I flat iron it for that good smooth look. Of course, the most important thing: heat protectant. I use this stuff. I really wish I used to have one in um. Little... I use this. This is really good. Oh, um, blow dryer and flat iron. Uh, this is a Remington something. Don't know, don't care, it does the job. Oh, <laughs> and you know, the basic hair shears. This is for like when I section my hair. I usually do it in twos. And random hair clips. Alright, so let's get into it. This is my hair in all of its glory. Uh, yep. So I, it was in braids, uh, for the last, like, three, four weeks now, um, for my wig. So I took those out maybe two or three days ago, um, been kind of bumming it since, since I haven't had to actually be anywhere, go anywhere, because I'm off work. Like, black girl tradition to cut your hair, straighten and cut your hair, or at least straighten your hair on your birthday. It's an unspoken rule that you must straighten your hair on your birthday. Gonna be fabulous, but yeah. So... Ooh, this is where it's kind of hitting mm, for the most part. The last time I cut my hair, you guys might have seen it. Um, my roommate cut it for me in the back. Oh, it kind of goes down to the tip, and I wanted to just a blunt cut to be all even. It's the opposite way. Okay, let me back up. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Like here like yeah no wonder i've been wanting to shave this stuff off I'm like I'm over my hair <laughs> but yeah that's why i am that's why i have all these short wigs because i'm like over having long hair but i don't want to commit to having short hair like if you grew up so i uh, was like i went with natural in 2009 just that uh, growing phase that awkward phase that i can't do nothing with my hair phase not going back. You can't make me. It's just gonna have, I'm just gonna have to live with this long hair because I ain't going back. But yeah, so uh, we'll see. We'll see what my hair looks like in a year. Like the whole point of my me having wigs is to kind of not touch my hair and see if I have a better uh, outcome. So what I've been running into is a hair plateau essentially. Uh, my hair won't grow past a certain length. And so I had to sit back and realize that it's not what my hair is doing. Um, I was thinking I was just having hair issues with my scalp, skins, whatever. No, I think it was mostly managerial issues, so me not touching my hair. Alright guys, why does it look like I have new growth? Like, high key. Way. Hair for a little while, see what'll happen, see if it grows any. Yeah, so this is my hair. Pre-wash. Talk to you guys later. Like and subscribe if you actually enjoy this content. Hey guys, it's me. So I'm out of the shower now. Yay. I have my hair in this lovely t-shirt wrap situation. Excess water. And shabam, there it is in all its glory. This is how my hair in its natural, fresh out the shower, but not dripping soaking wet state. Anyway, welcome back to my straightening video. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to section up my hair, apply heat protectant, and then I'm going to start blow drying it.
Alright, so I'm just going to give a before, before I straighten look at my hair. I've noticed that if I step back, it gets a little bit better. You can see it uh, in the back. Boom, boom. You can see it. Maybe step on my tippy toes. We're going to see what it looks like after. Yes. <laughs> Lego! this really janky long six foot wire charging my battery as I record this commitment <laughs>
Alright, so this is it for the most part. Um, I'm probably going to go in with a smaller flat iron. The OG flat iron. One inch. But this is just for my edges. So, let it go lift. Yes. But this basically is, is what it is. That is... Hmm. Here. Get your ish together. Alright, but... That is where my hair lies. Pretty much the same place it was last year. This bra is doing me a serious disservice right now, but... Yep, that's... That's where it be. Um... I'm probably gonna have to trim this in sections before I was able to trim it because my roommate was home. Nobody's home. Even as since my last trim, clearly. But it's not that bad. That's what that's what a trim is for. Cringe. But yeah, so I'll be taking care of that and that's where I will be. Lengthwise. Probably gonna end it here before I cut it where I'll just put some stills in after because my camera is like, girl, you doing the most, you doing the longest, my battery didn't died, I done turned off your thingy, so yeah, so I'm gonna just cut it here. Thank you for watching my extremely long video of my hair. Thank you for participating in my shenanigans. Uh, stay tuned, like, and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Okay.